what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put the column together after we cast all the part. Uh, we start here, I have uh, located the area where I'm gonna start, put the column. I have a red line here that indicate where the column's gonna go. So we're gonna go ahead, take some mortar and kind of spread it. It's gonna ooze out a little bad. Okay. So I chipped it while I was unmolding it. I could easily take a little bit of mortar and fix it now or later. Need to go down here. Might have to shim it a little bit here. So what you do, just drop a piece of stone. I did prepare some pieces of stone. You crank it up a little bit, push the mortar back in, and one of these shims. Scoop the excess mortar. It's always nice to wet the concrete before you mortar it. This way it will not absorb the moisture out of the mortar itself. So now I have some water on it. We're ready to set it up. I have put some mortar on top of the column base. Lift it up and I want to look where is the seam. This way I want to hide the seam. This is the seam here, so we'll put it towards the house. Okay, now time to kind of center it and level it. Okay. Excess mortar, clean it and we'll clean it with the sponge after. So now I could see if it's nicely centered, then it is. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark, this is the area where my seam is, and we know this is the one here. So now, again, we'll put mortar, and when I lift up the column, I'll try to line up the seam area, it just help everything line up. Drop it. And everything here nice and line up and flush. And we'll check for level. This is level like this. Not quite in this direction. Okay. Okay, that's the straight segment again. It has one seam here. So I'm gonna put it also against the house. I added some water to it. And this is, uh, and I have fresh mortar here. I just put it in place. Now this is as high as I will do it by myself. Lift up this one. and center it pretty much. Wipe the seam this way you could see if it's centered or not. Fill it up 
and again we'll double check see if it's level. And we're ready to put the fourth segment and that's fourth segment and I will put the crown after. Okay, lift up, up. Okay, now we need to straighten it up and level it all over, check for level. No. So again, what I have here, it's some pieces of stone. I could see it's need to be lifted here. So it's easy to find a nice shim kind of stone, lift it up a little bad and set it in and work on the leveling. Oh boy, this is not level in this direction. It's need to tilt more. So a bigger piece of stone and you see here, there is hardly any mortar in this area. It kind of crushed it on. So let's see. Oh yeah, now it worked. So what we'll need to do, we kind of need to refill this area now with mortar because it kind of got crushed and fell down. But what's nice, this piece of stone we put inside of it, it's gonna stop it from crushing as we keep adding more uh, weight on top of it. So. You could always take more pieces of stone all over it, shove them in, and hide them with more mortar. Lift up, up, up. Okay, hold on a second, hold on. What? Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, okay, we could start wiggling it now in place. And what we need to do, we need to be sure this end match the one below. That should be it. We'll double check if it's level. If it's need to be shimmed, we'll shim it. <laughs> 